Yo, so this is going to be St. Ives Tour Stories. It's going to be a series of stories and tour tales leading up to Weekend at Mercer's on April 24th and April 25th at onlocationlive.com. You can get your tickets and VIP packages right now. That out of the way, I started touring in April of 1996. There's a lot that goes into that. Me meeting Mystic Journeyman, me meeting the Grouch, me thinking we we're going to fight and them being too big for me to fight. So me talking my way out of it due to a friend Lucky and I had in common. His name is Kevin. Rest in peace. Before he passed away, he told me that I would one day meet the Mystic Journeyman and go on tour. And it happened. Um, they took me to Europe. I was living in Santa Cruz. I was rapping, going up there every weekend to Oakland to rap with them. They made me rap with a Japanese guy named Arata. We had one song. We performed it at a couple places after one of those shows, Sunspot Jones. If you've ever seen Sunspot Jones, he's a very bald, very buff, dark-skinned brother. And um, very aggressive. Um, he came up to me and was like, we're going to Europe. Do you want to go on tour with us? And I was like, I don't know, man. I'm in school. I told my mom. And he broke it to, motherfucker, is you down for this shit or not? Do you want to motherfucking live your dreams and control your destiny, motherfucker? And you need to get this motherfucking job. And I was like, all right, man. And um, in that moment, he changed my life. Um, I took the 750 I had in the bank that was supposed to be for school. I bought a passport, 100 cassette tapes, and a plane ticket to Amsterdam round trip. My mother told me when I got back, I wouldn't have a place to live. Um, I said, fuck it. I didn't have enough songs. So I had the one song with Arata. I had one solo song, Red Dots, produced by Double K, rest in peace. Um, three Melancholy Gypsy songs, and my homeboy himself gave me two songs to fill up this 30-minute tape. We flew to Amsterdam. I got off. We took a train, which I thought was a fucking shuttle, to Groningen, Holland. We get off the train. There are troops or police or somebody, people with guns waiting for us. They say, give us all your money. I had $28. I gave them all my money. They didn't take us to jail. It started snowing. I had never been in the snow before. I'm with my homies. We're headed basically to the projects in Holland to live. I have three weeks left with no money, 100 tapes, and a bag full of clothes. And uh, it got crazy. Um, I ate some McDonald's. I stole from some grocery stores. We performed at some fucking orphanages. Um, we slept on a lot of couches. One night... Me, Grouch, and Arata had to sleep in a fucking abandoned building. I'm talking April. April in Germany is cold. We were in Germany. No windows. Old, dirty, gay porn magazines everywhere. Cement floors. We had sleeping bags. There's a toilet with piss and shit in there that is not ours. And Mystic Journeymen are going back to sleep at the label's house. Which there wasn't a lot of room, but... I would have preferred to sleep standing up than sleep in that place. Once again, Sunspot Jones. Y'all motherfuckers got a problem with this? This is underground shit right here. You want to live this underground hip-hop shit? Then you better get your ass in the motherfucking bed and go to sleep right motherfucking now. And I was like, all right, bro. And that's how it happened. I sold all my tapes. Um, we bum-rushed a couple shows. There was a show that Farside was performing at. Um, we just showed up and said, yo, we're supposed to be on the show. Two of them said, yeah, they're with us. And two of them said, nah. But because we're black Americans before the internet in Germany, they figured we were telling the truth. So we got to open up for them, um, which was a highlight somewhat. Kind of a letdown that some people, they were kind of hating. But who, who gives a shit? Um, outside, I was selling Philly Blunts because I had run out of tapes. I had only Philly Blunts. I sold one to a kid. And then he asked me to see my gun. Like dead ass, like dead, like, let me see your gun. And I was like, what the fuck do you mean? And because of Boys in the Hood and gangster rap or whatever, he assumed that every black American had a gun on them at all times. And he was just like, stop being an asshole. Just show me. Just real quick, just let me see it. And I was like, all right. From that moment on, I knew the effect. I was already on the more conscious, woke, whatever, intelligent rap vibe, but that definitely kept me on that path because I, I realize that people are making assumptions and filling in the blanks with what we present in the media. So I, um, I guess I was really woke at that point. Um, and that's basically how I started touring. I got back home, 
we didn't have shit, but I had a passport. I had a story to tell. Um, no record labels were knocking down my door. If you want to hear more stories like that, I have a whole podcast called Best Rapper in LA. The rest of the story is on there. And make sure you get your tickets for Weekend at Mercy's April 24th and April 25th on locationlive.com. Get your VIP packages. Get your two-day passes with the dope-ass t-shirt. All that shit. Fuck with me April 24th and 25th. This has been St. Ives Tour Stories Volume 1. I spent the summer out climbing falls Fell in love and came up on some brand new draw I was 13, sipping St. Eyes She looked like Kelly Williams with some slanted eyes I had a chick out in Chilokin Bitch used to stay stoned like a Philistine Said a man had a dick like a millipede She would let me fucking suck a pussy for a little weed Checked in the motel, we had some more dope to sell Five dollar tapes though, you know the story well Match from the east, oh, straight to the east coast 24 hour grind, been on that beast mode My money was micro, my bitch was a psycho She would start tripping, bitch, is you on your psycho? If you ain't fucking on a period Motherfucker, you ain't serious I was 18, sipping St. Eyes Taking weed across all them state lines But I never smoked my own supply How you getting money if you getting high? How you elevating if you celebrating? Used to be illegal, now they talk